Well, we're a few weeks into 2025, and I contacted several of my peers and asked them, what are you excited about in 2025? What's got your creative juices flowing? And they were kind enough to record videos for me. So without any further ado, let's start things off and take a look with Jeffrey from Lightbox. And stick around to the end of the video, because I'm going to give you what I'm most looking forward to in 2025 and getting my feet wet, testing out and learning more about. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Jeffrey at Lightbox here. And what excites me most about web design in 2025 has to be the page builders and no code tools. This is the year for the page builders. We got Elementor 4.0. Bricks 2.0, Divi 5.0, and hopefully by the end of the year, we'll get a chance to see Etch. Fans of page builders, myself included, this is a good time for us. We're in a very good era. Now, the other thing I am really excited for are the no-code tools as well. They have been evolving and growing, and right now we got some amazing tools, things like Spline and Unicorn Studio, and many others as well. Not only are we gonna be able to get more creative on our websites, but these tools are gonna help us to be more efficient. No more two, three, four month long web design projects. Now, if you are like me, if you are a super web design nerd, you love to geek out on creating crazy dope websites, you gotta be excited for this year. We are living in an amazing time for us web designers. There's so much to be excited for. Hey everyone, this is Mark and Barbara from Wiki Design. In 2025, we're excited to use more AI tools to enhance our workflow and creativity. Yeah, what I'm mainly excited about is two different things in 2025, and that's using more AI stuff to create really more complicated and complex like SQL queries, more advanced dynamic information. And then I really want to spend some time this year learning more about like APIs and how we can integrate that into like our workflow and our designs. I'm excited to use things in Photoshop and Illustrator, tools that I use pretty much every day to design websites. They have a lot of cool AI that's being introduced into these software programs. And I'm just really excited to see what it can do to make my workflow a lot more streamlined. In 2025, I, I'm most excited about the trifecta of AI automations and APIs. As these technologies become more prominent, it's more important than ever to understand and harness these tools. And uh, from a low code perspective, they're getting more and more accessible. Uh, AI isn't just a buzzword anymore. It's a practical tool that can actually transform how we work from generating content to solving complex problems. AI is changing entire industries. It's not just about replacing human creativity. It's about augmenting it. And with tools like various automation platforms, it's about working smarter, not harder. And think about repetitive tasks that eat up your time now. Imagine those tasks are handling themselves with automation and AI. And APIs are the connective tissue that make sure everything's communicating seamlessly. From a low code perspective, these technologies are becoming more powerful and accessible to everyone. And you owe it to yourself and your clients to understand these tools. It's not about just staying current. It's about like creating actual value for your clients. The potential for saving time and money is massive. Every problem you can solve with AI automation and APIs is a win for you and your clients, whether you're a developer, an entrepreneur, or just someone looking to level up their tech game. Now's the time to jump in. My recommendation, jump right in the deep end, experiment, learn, implement, iterate the future belongs to those who are willing to adapt and embrace these sort of transformative technologies so that's what i'm excited for for this year and uh look forward to seeing what we build together what's the one thing in web design that's got me buzzing believe it or not it's not ai it's actually something that we've all been a little bit guilty of ignoring at some point I'm talking about authenticity. I want to see us ditching the cookie cutter over polished soulless designs and embracing sites that actually feel more human. I want to see more brands and designers leaning into bold, imperfect and personality packed web experiences. Think quirky layouts, unique hand drawn elements, unexpected typography and storytelling that feels like a conversation, not a corporate sales pitch. People are kind of tired of pixel perfect perfection. They want real connections, websites that speak to them. So yeah, in 2025, I'm all for websites that stand out and don't just fit a particular mold. 
Let's make websites weird again. First off, 2025, I'm excited about finally seeing Paul Charlton get his long overdue knighthood. Yeah, Sir Paul C, OBE. Now, I'm told King Charles avidly watches all Paul's videos. So come on, Charlie, what do you say? Let's make it happen. But otherwise, I am actually surprising even myself to say I am most excited about WordPress this year. Last year was rock bottom for the WordPress project, wasn't it? Gutenberg is still an embarrassment, mostly down to poor direction and leadership. WordPress is really starting to feel like legacy software. And with the deeply embarrassing and damaging antics of the project's leader, well, it's no wonder WordPress really is at an all-time low. But when you hit rock bottom, the only way is up, right? And I'm starting to see some real and very exciting ideas emerge for how the WordPress community can rebuild from all of this. You know, maybe new leadership, fresh direction, maybe a fork. Something has got to give. And I think this could be the year that WordPress starts moving forward again. That potential has me feeling, well, at least cautiously optimistic. Now, of course, this year, I am also keeping an eye on other tools, you know, testing tools and workflows outside of WordPress because, you know, I'm not going to make life harder for myself if there are better options out there for getting the job done. After all, we're talking about tools for building websites here, not the balance of Western civilization. <laughs> but for now, my excitement is still with WordPress and the chance for some real progress and real change this year. I can't wait. And seriously, Paul C, knighthood, it's time. Hi, this is David McCann, and I'm talking about a web design trend of 2025 that I'm excited about. When we talk about design trends, we often mean something like fashion. What's in style? What's new? What is everybody talking about? But I'm looking at another meaning of trends, more like a direction, something you follow over time and that evolves. And the web design trend I want to talk about has a long history, dating back even before the year 2000. And I'm talking about components. There are two types of component. One is where you create a new element, a totally new HTML control, for instance. The other type is a composite that's built up using existing elements. For example, a card component as you see being created behind me, might include a title, an image, a description, and a button. You can decide which parts can be customized by creating property settings for them. Components are modular, easy to manage and reuse, and are portable. Historically, components on the web have been used with large JavaScript libraries like React, Angular, or Vue. And WordPress even has a component library for use when creating Gutenberg blocks. Pinegrow has the ability to create components. And last June, Crocoblock Jet Engine added the ability to create components for Elementor Bricks and Gutenberg. And now this year, 2025, Bricks released behind an experimental flag, components for Bricks Builder. And Bilderius has components on the roadmap. So here's the trend. For a long time, components have been the purview of developers only. Then with Pinegrow and Jet Engine, creating components was an option for power users also. Now with Bricks, end users can create components without using code. And that's a trend I'm excited about. So now it's my turn to talk about what I'm interested about checking out in 2025. Now, I wanna take a look outside of WordPress. I'm still gonna be covering WordPress on the channel. That's not gonna change, so don't worry about that. But I do wanna take a look at some other open source platforms that are out there that are interesting, exciting, and are moving quite rapidly in comparison to the likes of WordPress itself. So first of all, let's talk about Web Studio. Now, I took a look at Web Studio several months ago, and a lot of people were super interested in this because of that open source status. 
Now, if you move over from something like Webflow or you use Bricks where you're working with a class-based design setup, this is probably going to be relatively straightforward to move over and test out for yourself. And you can test this out. You can sign up for a free account and you can test it out yourself. And one of the things that kind of makes this exciting for me is not just the builder, which looks all pretty cool anyway. It's the fact that we can connect it to so many different platforms to use this as the start of our CMS. We can even use WordPress if we want to, but you can connect it up to things like Airtable, Notion, Ghost, and so on. So we can set up our data inside those platforms, connect it up to our website, and have full control back and forth between the two aspects of it. Sure, it's not going to give you the same level of flexibility as you have with the whole WordPress and all the plugins and themes, but that's not the kind of thing that I'm looking at here. I want a solid build that allows me to connect up and do those kinds of things. So it's not going to be for everybody, but I do think this is one to take a look at for yourself. Like I say, you can test this out for zero cost and see if you like it. And if you do, then you can take a look at doing more with it and maybe paying for it if you want to. The nice thing is because it's open source, you can also self-host this if you want. You're not limited to only working on their servers. So there's options there for you to make sure you maintain that ability to have control over all of your data and everything else to go with it. Check it out, link in the description. Now sticking with that whole open source ethos, then Penpot is another tool that I think is worth taking a look at. And I'm excited to see how this grows in 2025. Their cash injection they had a year or two ago has definitely helped them push forward and make them a viable alternative to the leader, which is obviously Figma. But be an open source, and again, you can if you want to. You can host this and self-install it yourself so you have full control. So if you want to keep this off open servers, you can do it. But I do like what they're doing with Penpot. It's still a little bit behind the likes of Figma. Obviously, it's an, a newer platform, but I think that you can use this and do pretty much everything you want to do in it without any problems and restrictions. If you want to collaborate in a team, a small team or a much bigger team, this has collaboration built directly into it. So if that's something that you really you know, strong about, you want to have that as part of it. If you're working in an agency, working remotely with different people, different companies and so on, this could be a great way of working. But like I say, Penpot is an open source alternative to Figma. It's had a lot of development over the last 18 months and I don't see that slowing down anytime soon. It is one that I 100% recommend you check out and take a look at it and uh, let me know what your thoughts are. But yeah, for me, 2025, the more exciting aspects are outside of WordPress at this point in time, although there's still some pretty cool things happening inside WordPress with third-party developers, and I'm excited to see where they go, things like Bricks version 2 and so on. But if you want to take a look at open source alternatives for either design and or design and website creation, check out those two. They are linked in the description down below. But before we go any further, what are your most exciting things in 2025. What are you kind of excited about? Is it software? Is it WordPress? Is it particular plugins, hosting? You know, what is it? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear. As always, all applicable links are down in the description. My name is Paul C and thank you to everybody that's been part of this video and thank you for watching it. Until next time, take care.